Since 2009, the FAO and the Government of Brazil, through an international cooperation program, have carried out several activities in Latin America and the Caribbean countries in order to strengthen school feeding programs. This is how the project, Strengthening of School Feeding Programs in Latin America and the Caribbean, was launched, designed based on the lessons learned in Brazil, a country with more than 60 years of experience with school feeding programs. The aim of the cooperation is to contribute to the development and strengthening of school feeding public policies with an emphasis on the human right to food based on the supply of healthy, continuous, universal and sustainable foods in schools as well as on food and nutrition education. The project started in five countries and has expanded its actions over the years. Currently, 13 countries are participating in the project. Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Grenada, Guatemala, Guyana, Honduras, Jamaica, Paraguay, Peru, Dominican Republic, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. For the execution of the project, elements of sustainability for school feeding programs were discussed and defined with the technical support of experts for sustainable school feeding programs from governments, universities and international organizations. In order to generate knowledge, studies, training guides, food procurement manuals and other teaching and learning materials have been developed at the country and regional level which present a local perspective and possible strategies towards a sustainable SFP. In several countries of the region, the positive results obtained with the project support can already be seen. Together with the countries, the methodology of the sustainable schools has been built with the aim of building, in conjunction with governments and the local communities, a reference of schools that develop sustainable school feeding programs. Since 2012, the Sustainable Schools Initiative has already been implemented in 1,640 schools, with the participation of 150,305 students. Additionally, 5,600 family farmers are selling their products to school feeding programs. The infrastructure of 75 kitchens, 73 storage rooms, and 53 dining areas have been renovated. To promote the various activities undertaken by the project, important partners have also provided support, such as the embassies of Brazil in the countries, the Parliamentary Front Against Hunger, other UN agencies, as well as other projects implemented by FAO. There are still many challenges to overcome. Increase the number of countries in the region with new designs of sustainable SFP. Continue promoting actions to implement legal frameworks of school feeding programs in countries that have not yet made progress in this area. Expand the Sustainable Schools Initiative so that they impact the local school feeding policy. Discuss and strengthen mechanisms of community participation and monitoring. Coordinate school feeding with other themes developed by FAO, such as food loss and waste, gender, inclusion of fish in school feeding, and climate change. Several countries have shown that strategies for overcoming poverty must be based on intersectoral coordination, territorial development, and the articulated search for solutions by the various actors. Moreover, they have shown that these programs are essential to ensure the achievement of many of the sustainable development goals. The provision of healthy, adequate, and local foods linked to activities of food and nutrition education constitutes an important tool for the effective implementation of the human right to adequate food. Ensuring the right to healthy food contributes to the sustainable development of all people.